Kiss. Kiss. 106.5. What shall we use to conduct this beautiful current with? Ready for this? Here goes. Kiss 106.5. You're on the air. Kyle, Jackie O'Brien, Cranston. We know this guy. Man, he's done so many cool things. Breaking Bad's obviously my favourite. Yeah. Malcolm in the Middle is another one. He's in the new film Godzilla. He's doing Kung Fu Panda 3. The guy's a juggernaut. He can't be stopped. <laughs> Heisenberg. Good morning. Hey, Brian. Good morning. Well, it's good morning to you, folks. It's good evening to me here in New York City. Uh, oh, man. man. You're Look doing at, Broadway, what a, right? You're Broadway? Doing, doing a oh, what a fall from grace. <laughs> 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 it's good to talk to you guys. Oh, man. So, but you're just such a, uh, a diverse actor. Um, very believable in every role, which I suppose is what every actor wants to be able to portray is that you believe in every character that you're doing. What do you prefer, a badass or do you like, you know, a comedy? Do you like the action or do you like the dancing around on stage, Hugh Jackman style? (laughs) I I like the mix. I like going from one to the other and being unpredictable. So, um, you know, Breaking Bad was fantastic. It was extremely well written. Uh, And then to go from there and do... Uh, a, a monster movie like Godzilla is is uh, surprising people, and I'm I'm glad to do that. And then from there, I go on, and I'm doing a Broadway play here in New York. Um, and then from here, who knows? Kung Fu Panda. Who knows? Yeah, so your options brilliant. are open. I remember when uh, at the end of Breaking Bad, obviously Anthony Hopkins wrote that open letter to you because he was just so in love with you as an actor and the show. Thought That's it was a brilliant. Big man crush. It was a big man crush, but we've all been there where we've watched a TV series yeah. and we've been so immersed in it and just so obsessed. Have you ever had that with a TV show yourself where you've watched it and just thought, man, I just I would love to be able to write to this actor and tell him how much I love him? You know, I, I haven't been that kind of guy who has, has created idols or anything like that. I, I sort of want to... I see someone do something well, and I go, I wonder if I can do that, you know, and I kind of branch off and do my own thing. But certainly getting that letter from Anthony Hopkins was a surprise, and um, I was humbled by it. Uh, it. It was never intended to go out to, for, you know, uh, across the web or anything, but uh, it, it managed to find its way somehow. And um, But, it, you know, I... I would love, you know, we're looking for something that we could work together on, and and we've since become uh, friends, and and now it's um, it's just, you know, the the idea of being a, a kid and, and growing up and, and having a, a dream of of being an actor, and then all of a sudden you can, and then you're you're looking for projects to work with Anthony Hopkins. Yeah. Wow, yeah, that's you know, cool. It's crazy, and then at my play last week. Um, Hugh Jackman was in my dressing room after the play. He came to see the show, and I opened the door, and there's Hugh Jackman. I went, "Oh my God, you're a, you're a god to me!" And oh. and uh, it's just it's just a fantastic experience. Oh wow, Hugh Jackman! All these blokes creeping onto you. Is it weird? Like. Uh, <laughs> Going into your room and there's Hugh, and we love Hugh. We know him very well. He's a lovely guy. But do you ever and the Anthony Hopkins thing? It's got to be flattering. Surreal. It's got to be flattering. Obviously, they're not there like trying to crack on, but that they admire your work. Yeah, it, I mean that's what that's what really means a lot to me is that it's about the work, and um, and I'm I'm just so appreciative of these opportunities. And you never, you know, when we started Breaking Bad uh, six seven years ago. We were just a little show on a small network, and we had no idea what was going to happen with that. And we're just, you know, trying to tell our story the best we can. And um, it took hold, and people were were relating to this man and his plight. And then it went crazy and became this mushroom cloud of of attention. And um, we're grateful for it, but it, it came as a surprise to all of us. Did you ever learn how to actually make meth? <laughs> I did. Did you? So you know, you I now did. know. Um, ah. Yeah, <laughs> the, the Drug Enforcement Agency, uh, where my my brother in law uh, Hank Schrader yeah. worked in the show. Uh, they're the real Drug Enforcement Agency's chemists. They came and they were uh, consultants on our show, and they taught Aaron Paul and I the steps on how to make crystal meth. Um, at that 
that level, at that level of purity. And it was so detailed, and they didn't want us to write anything down, but it was so detailed <laughs> that, you know, an hour later, I already forgot the order of things, and then I forgot the names. You really, you really have to be a student of, of chemistry to be able to do it really well, like, like Walter White made it. What do they What do they use as the crystal meth on the show? Because like, when we spoke to the guys from Wolf of Wall Street, they were saying it was vitamin B powder for cocaine on that film. What do they use for, for you? Mm-hmm. We use cotton candy flavored rock candy. Uh, <laughs> I love oh, that. I I've thought been, it was. Uh, yeah, something cool like that. It needed to be something. Uh, it, it is, you know, probably the, the, it's a vile tasting pieces of sugar and and in the 16th or 17th hour uh, on some days working on the show i i first noticed aaron paul uh taking a handful of of our product that we're making and he's eating it and i go what are you doing you can't eat that he goes i just need some sugar i'm crashing <laughs> and then I, I said, you, I, so i tried it and then pretty soon the entire crew is e- eating the sugar because we're all exhausted and we wanted the sugar rush to get us Tonight. Yeah, that guy's a great actor too. Now, he, did he win some awards? Because like it's just so believable that show. I think that's now, what think a, you, a lot of people love about you it. You and Aaron Paul, do you still keep in contact? You seemed pretty close. That's acting. Oh, Kathy. we're very close. He's no. he, he, yeah, he's um, he's a great great guy I'm, and a, a terrific actor. And we really bonded strongly on the show. And he's. You know, I went to his wedding uh, last year, and, and um, we just had a great time. And, and he's he's very happy, and he's on, you know, a track to do other films, and he's he's doing really well. And, and I wish him well. And, and we stay in in close contact, and um, I'm grateful for the experience. Brian Cranston, uh, star of Breaking Bad, the new film Godzilla is coming out soon too, and you can check him out coming up in Kung Fu Panda 3. We were just talking about the crystal meth, obviously, and how, how you actually learned how to make it on set, etc. Did you ever get anyone come up to you on the street confusing... All itchy, y- going, man, give us a hit, man. Yeah, yeah. Have got you ever had here. that, where someone's asked you, oh, you got any crystal meth? <laughs> <laughs> no, you know, even the, even the meth heads... Knew, were aware of the the difference between a TV show and a real life. Really, so they, were, <laughs> they were tweaking. Yeah, but a lot, you know, a lot of them are, are kind of tweaking at the time that that have been brazen enough to approach me, and uh, and, and you know, in their own way, are giving it a stamp of approval by saying, "Man, that's real. That's real, man. Man, you showed it real. That's real. You, you know, that's really how the world is." And I'm going, Thank you very much. Bye. I gotta go now. Yeah, wow, that's um, unbelievable. we've got some people who want to talk to you. Aaron has phoned in. Aaron, you are on the air with Brian Cranston. Go ahead. What's your question? Hi, Brian. Um, my question was: I was wondering if there was ever any consideration for a Breaking Bad and Malcolm in the Middle crossover. Oh God, <laughs> that's a stretch. Aaron, that is a stretch. <laughs> yeah. Breaking Malcolm in the middle. Oh, yeah. Oh, uh, you know, yeah. It sounds like it's got a gay twist I, I to it. <laughs> you know, that's like, uh, I don't know, that's like putting, um, you know, uh, barbecue sauce on top of ice cream or something. Yeah, it just, just doesn't mix. Don't mix. Well. It just doesn't What work. about a Breaking Bad movie? Yeah. Well, you know, without giving away those who haven't seen the entire series of Breaking Bad I, without giving oh, God, away yeah, of course. the ending. We haven't seen oh, the end. Oh, no, no, of course you can't do that. <laughs> what? That was the dumbest question I well, asked of this interview. Sorry. It could be a dream <laughs> sequence. <laughs> Come on, don't say that. That's not the dumbest question. I'm sure you have a dumber question. Oh, yeah. Oh, oh she's full of those. Yeah. You could do it. So what's it like to be Brian Cranston? <laughs> <laughs> no, that wasn't dumb. Oh, no. no. That, that, was, well, that was actually acceptable. That was... <laughs> it's like a newspaper journalist question, that one. James has called through. James, you're on the air with Brian Cranston. What's your question? Yeah, hey, I want to know um, how close you came to giving away the end of Breaking Bad to anyone in the, before it had, to anyone in the family or at the pub or anything. Yeah, was it hard to keep that a secret? No, I'm I, I'm I'm very good at keeping a secret. So if you want to tell me some you know deep dark secret of yours, it's it's in the bank. I I, I do. I wasn't tempted to give it away because I didn't want to ruin the ending for for anyone. And and uh, I thought our final episode was was fantastic and it was very satisfying but very unapologetic in a very breaking bad way and and uh, and I think it was the right time to end it because we ended it 
you know, before we stay, overstayed our welcome. And we told our story. It was time to say goodbye, and we that's what we did. Do you think there's any actual um, chemistry teachers out there that have thought, screw this yeah. low-paying job, mm. I'm going to start doing this, and uh, that's like a how-to guide of uh, getting your retirement together? There actually have been copycats. There, ha- It has, <laughs> uh, the show has spawned. Uh, a few chemistry teachers who have made crystal meth and tried to follow the same path as Walter White. In fact, there was a guy named Walter White who um, was arrested for making crystal meth, and and it was just, it's ridiculous. He didn't even change his name. What an idiot. They all got caught. (laughs) They they never caught me. They never caught me. (laughs) You were too smart for that rubbish. Okay, Ash, you're on the air with Brian (laughs) Cranston. Ash, what's your question? Brian, I'm such a big fan. Um, first of all, so everyone keeps talking about the new Godzilla and how he's gotten fat. What do you think? Should he have been skinnier? <laughs> well, Ash, uh, we, you know, there, there's several um, American cast members in the new Godzilla, and and as we all know, most of the cast, well, most of America is fat anyway. <laughs> so perhaps it's appropriate, but uh, no, I don't, I don't think so. I mean, I think it's. Uh, it, 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 the, this Godzilla is uh, is really cool, and and it it honors the history of this iconic and legendary um, story. Um, so there's you know there's a metaphoric meaning behind it, and yet there's a great, terrific monster fights and all kinds of scary uh, things happening. And and but the reason I I took it because is my character has a very strong character arc to it and um and that's what really drew me to it i was very pleased to to jump in and and be in a fun movie well man uh, we, we love everything you've done uh don't give up acting just yet even if you got even if you are a method actor uh, <laughs> oh, you've been, you wanted yeah, to yeah. Yeah. i was trying to worm he that would, in there he would never have heard that one before <laughs> i'm sure <laughs> brian cranston <laughs> thanks for talking to us this morning it was a pleasure there he is thanks man nice to chat thank you guys. you're welcome there he is it. let's do it again sometime please so. do anytime you like uh, there's the star of breaking bad on the air this morning here at the kyle and jackie o show kiss kiss 1065